What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. I am really, really excited about this week's mukbang because it is healthy and I in particular have been just not eating very well. I tried last week to eat a little bit better, but I am so puffy right now from like drinking and and I don't even usually drink and eating crap. I had Velveeta this weekend. I mean, this is much needed. <laughs> For any of you that want this recipe, I'm going to link it below, but this is Ina Garden's uh, roasted chicken recipe. It is super, super simple. It's basically just uh, a lemon that you cut in half, a bunch of thyme, and a head of garlic that you cut in half um, lengthwise, I guess, and you just shove them all inside, season the top, season the inside, rub with oil, and bake it. It's like stupid easy and stupid delicious. And then on the side here, this is my little creation. Um, it's kind of like my healthy gravy. Basically all I do is I take the pan drippings uh, from when the chicken is done and I add the lemons from inside the chicken. I squeeze all of the juice out and I reduce it down for, I don't know, like five minutes until it's reduced almost by half. And then I put it in a cup and I dip all of the chicken in it. It is so freaking good. And again, gluten free. And to drink, I have just kombucha today. This is my favorite one right now. It only has three grams of sugar per serving. So there's six grams in the whole bottle. And most kombucha has more sugar than that. So, and this tastes really good. gonna be delicious. Maybe I'll keep it down here. I do not trust myself. That was all fizz. It's just really light and refreshing. It's not too sweet. I don't really like super sweet things. All right, let's just eat. Oh my gosh. falling like right off the bone. I'm having a hard time just... <sighs> it's literally falling apart. Clean off the bone.
Mm. So the best part of the chicken is like the very bottom of it. And I think I just got like a big piece of the bottom of the chicken. I'm a dark meat person. This is dark meat, <clears throat> but it's like the best dark meat on the bird. I'd say that's done. Oh, do you guys like white meat or dark meat better? Shane loves white meat <clears throat> and I love dark meat so this really works out well for me. It's so lemony. I'm a huge fan of lemon. Put lots of napkins for this one.
So I normally eat this with cauliflower rice. And one other vegetable. So I'll do like roasted Brussels sprouts and I'll actually separate the outside leaves of the Brussels sprouts and make chips with them. And and then I roast the rest of them separately just as roasted Brussels sprouts. <clears throat> so good. So the, the Brussels sprout leaves are always done before so they're always like my snack while I'm waiting for the rest of dinner to be done. <clears throat> and this is basically what I ate like two to three times a week for dinner slash lunch when I was on my diet. For all of you wondering how I stay so fit. <laughs> And the reason I say fit is I do not feel very fit right now. I definitely gained some, some weight, as I said. But mostly it's just the way you feel, right? Digestively, I haven't felt great. I just felt kind of sluggish. But when I eat stuff like this, I feel fantastic. whole pieces of roasted garlic from in there, from like inside. A great idea is if you are making this and you want garlic bread, you could just take the garlic out of the inside of the chicken and just smash it on a piece of bread. I always gnaw on this part. It's like the piece of the wing that doesn't really have any meat on it. <laughs> Actually, that just came right off. <laughs> it's super crispy. All the skin around it. It's really crispy. As you can tell, I am not an expert at butchering meat in general, <laughs> including chicken. Mm. 
Man, I hope I don't run out of gravy. <clears throat> so something I like to do is make a skin taco using the skin as like the taco shell. So, skin, meat, and then I just kinda wrap it up. <laughs> My fingers are so <laughs> gross right now.
chicken skin taco. Oh, I'm <clears throat> starting to get full. Before I stop, though, I want to show you guys what I'm talking about. All this meat in the grooves in here is legit as fuck. <laughs> literally like when I was making this for myself during the diet I wouldn't bother carving it I would literally just like this except I wasn't even this civilized it would be at the counter the chicken was still in the roasting pan and I'm just like tearing it to shreds <clears throat> and I just flip that bitch over <laughs> almost like the first thing that I do <laughs> and get all of these like you see, that's like bone right there. Just this little pocket of deliciousness. It's right in there. Another gem. This was so, so good. I think I want to save <clears throat> the white meat for my lovely fiance. Since I'm getting full anyways, and the whole point of this mukbang is to be healthy kinda. Oh, but let's eat this piece of skin before I let you go. Just by itself this time. No skin taco.
Got a little chicken graveyard going on over here. <clears throat> It's all bones. Oh, it's so good. I don't know. I wanted to ask you guys too. When I was looking up um, Ina Garden roast chicken, because I always like research if my keywords are gonna work out all right. I saw Chrissy Teigen versus Ina Garden roast chicken. Which one's better? So I wanted to know if you guys have had Chrissy Teigen's roasted chicken, because I didn't know that her roast chicken was a thing. Obviously, Ina Garden's roast chicken is a thing because everything she does is just amazing, especially these, like, really simple, classic dinners. Her chicken piccata also is, like, one of my big favorites. Also, a chicken lemon dish. <laughs> no surprise there, right? Ah. <sighs> I know this hasn't really been as traditional of a mukbang for me because I typically talk throughout, um, but this was really nice to just sit here and enjoy the food. To give you an update though, on my wedding situation, I found a dress. I don't know if I told you guys that the last time we were together, but I found a dress and it's amazing. I wish I could show it to you, but I can't. In due time, you will see it though. And we have been having the hardest time finding venues because we want to do it on New Year's Eve next year and we want to party until like at least 2 a.m. So finding a venue that will serve liquor and stay open that late is a challenge that also has that date available and will allow me to like customize the whole menu myself and also not be in like this horrendously inconvenient location on like the other side of the state <laughs> or whatever because we're planning on getting married in Florida. So we're still on the hunt. There are a few finalists for the venue and I literally just can't stop planning. It's what I do all the time. I feel like I don't work as much as I should because I'm just planning my wedding all day, every day. <laughs> And like, what am I going to do? The wedding is in a year and a half, basically. I'm going to have this thing planned in like six months and then just be twiddling my thumbs like, what do I do now? <laughs> Going crazy for an entire year. I really hope that doesn't happen. <laughs> what else is going on with my life? Uh, this past weekend, Shane competed in a Tough Mudder, which was fun to watch, and I would probably compete in one too, actually, if given the opportunity. He did a 5K, so I think that would be more my speed, because I legit hate running. Running is the freaking worst. <laughs> if any of you have done a Tough Mudder, comment below and let me know how it was. The 5K, though, for sure. And I only got to see the last two obstacles, of course, because we're not like following them on their little trail and they were in that wall that you run up, which was highly entertaining. I was sat there for like 45 minutes waiting for them. And then the next uh, obstacle was them like, it was this slanted wall that's completely muddy, of course, and there's no way to get up it. So you have to make a human pyramid and stand on each other's shoulders until one of you can reach the top and then that person then puts their arms down to where everybody is and they create like a chain going that way so that people can like climb up. It was like, <laughs> I mean, I'm sure it's fun when you're doing it, but it just looked awful <laughs> when I was watching. So we did that. And other than that, we've had a pretty low key weekend. Um, I am going to New York in three weeks. Actually, I'm going to Boston first. So I'll be in Boston from August 7th. I get there and I'll probably stay till the weekend and then I'm going to go to New York City and then I'm ending in Washington DC and I'm going to go see Tony Robbins and Gary V on the 22nd and then I'm flying back here on the 23rd. So if anybody has any recommendations, food or just things to do, in any of those places, please comment below and I will definitely try to go there. I will be looking to do a mukbang in each place, though I think I've already got my New York City mukbang figured out. 
Levain Bakery. If anybody knows Levain Bakery, it's the best cookies ever. Um, so yeah, really wanting to do a Levain Bakery mukbang. But Boston, have no clue, was thinking maybe seafood. DC, have no idea, not even the slightest. I'm not even gonna try to do like an American themed one either because that would just be weird. <laughs> so yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching today. I hope you enjoyed the different style here with the healthy food. This is seriously one of my favorite, favorite healthy meals. And I'm sure you saw how much I enjoyed eating it. Let me know if you guys liked that I talked at the end this time and kind of didn't talk as much throughout the middle of it. Um, if you have any comments, questions about the roasted chicken, which the recipe link is below, um, how I made the sauce again, uh, the vegetables that I like to eat with this, just questions about me, my wedding, my engagement, whatever. Comment all of that below. Like this video if you thought it was fun. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, I would love for you to subscribe. Um, you know, y'all make me possible. Um, so I appreciate every single one of you. And uh, stay tuned for next week. I'm honestly not entirely sure what next week's mukbang is going to be. Um, considering doing an ASMR, but I'm also promoting the X Games this weekend. And so I may end up trying to do a mukbang with some of the X Games athletes <laughs> if I can manage to get them to agree to it. So stay tuned for that. And yeah, thank you all so much for watching. I love you and I'll see you next Tuesday. Bye guys.